Today I'll show you how to make sourdough crepes, thin, crispy pancakes. They may be the best pancakes that you've ever had. Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. These pancakes are European style, or maybe French pancakes. They're very thin and crispy on the edges right as they come off the pan. This type of pancake is what I grew up with as pancakes and I didn't try fluffy US style pancakes until I got my first cookbook, a Disney cookbook. I still have it, but I've used it to pieces. I think I was seven when I got it. Once a food geek, always a food geek. <laughs> you can eat them both sweet and savory. The sweet variety has a bit of sugar in the batter, but otherwise it's the same batter. You could skip the sugar in the dough if you want, because uh, you will probably be adding lots of sugar-based toppings to them anyway. Here in Copenhagen, crepe vendors on bikes will make you a crepe right then and there and serve it with Nutella and banana. Sounds healthy, right? If you're new to this channel, I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. If you want to see more of this content, please join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. I'll show you how to make the batter, the crepes, and then I'll show you two different savory and sweet kinds. They're all super delicious and I'm sure you won't be surprised when I tell you that I add sourdough discard to the batter because as you probably already know, it enhances the taste. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider joining my Patreon. You can also buy some merch or use the super thanks or use the links in the description for tools and ingredients. Those were the words. This is the recipe. There's a link in the description to the recipe on my website. To a medium bowl, add 320 grams or one and a third cups of whole milk. 120 grams or half a cup of beer. If you don't want to use alcohol, you can substitute with whole milk, but this is what makes the edges crispy. 80 grams or six tablespoons of melted butter. Mix it up. Then add four grams or half a teaspoon of table salt. 250 grams or one cup of sourdough starter. 225 grams of eggs, about four large eggs. 120 grams or four fifths cup of all purpose flour. The sugar will wait for later, but just because I won't be splitting the batter now. Mix it until it's lump free. I put it in the fridge for half an hour to let the gluten relax. So half an hour later, I pull out the batter and split it in two. I mix in 80 grams or six tablespoons of granulated sugar. That batter goes back into the fridge while I make the savory pancakes. So to make the pancakes, heat your pan to medium heat, 150 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Butter the pan. Pour about 60 milliliters or a quarter cup of batter onto the pan and swirl it around so it covers the entire pan. Cook it until it's nice and brown and the edges are letting go of the pan. Flip it over in one fell swoop. Once it's nice and brown on the other side, take it off the pan. I'm keeping my pancakes warm between two dinner plates. All right, so now we're gonna be making a ham and cheese crepe. That's being made right on the pan. First start as you would any other crepe. Mm -hmm. 
flip it over and add grated cheese to half of the pancake. I'm using Dutch Gouda or Gouda in English. And add some slices of ham. I'm using wonderful Italian prosciutto. And fold the empty part onto the filling and then fold it in half. Voila! Garnish with chives. All right, now for some savory filled pancakes. This is a very common Danish dish. I'm making a beef filling, but I guess you could make anything that suits your taste. I'll just use what I have in my fridge. I sweat some chopped onions. And then I brown some ground beef and I had some pickled carrots and daikon that I thought would go great with this. And a good squeeze of tomato paste. I also had some canned corn, but I forgot it. Whoops. Then I put the filling inside the pancakes and top with grated gouda. I like saying gouda. <laughs> then I put them in a 200 degree Celsius, 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 10 minutes until the cheese has melted. I could tell a joke about a pizza, but it's a little cheesy. For the sweet crepes, I'm using the same process as the savory ones, but as you can tell, the sugar does make them a lot more brown. Brown equals taste. All right, time to eat. Okay, time for dessert. The first one is lemon juice and sugar. The second one is my childhood favorite, brown sugar. It's still delicious, but I guess I'm less of a sweet lover these days. The last one is the quintessential Danish pancake. Strawberry jam and sugar. Don't they look lovely? If you follow the link in the description for the recipe on my website, I've listed lots of ideas for more savory and sweet fillings for crepes. They're super easy to make and you know, it was the best day ever when your mom or dad made pancakes for dinner. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Hope you learned something today. See you next time. Cool.